A report by the Associated Press, or AP, has confirmed the presence of more than five mass graves in Myanmar. Now, this through interviews with multiple survivors. The evidence shows that a massacre took place at uh, Gu Da Pin in August, despite government denials. Now, the faces of the men have uh, been half buried in the mass graves, had been burnt completely by acid or blasted by bullets. Now, their bodies were found days after residents said that the village of Gu Da Pin was overrun by soldiers on the 27th of August last year. The survivors said that the soldiers carefully planned the attack and deliberately tried to hide what they had done. They came to the slaughter armed not only with rifles, knives, rocket launchers and grenades, but also with shovels to dig pits and acid to burn away faces and hands so that the bodies could not be recognized. Now, Just before the attack, villagers say soldiers were seen buying 12 large containers of acid from a nearby market. Now, in the videos obtained by the Associated Press, Dating to 13 days after the killing began, blue-green puddles of acid sludge surround corpses. The United States has responded with State Department spokesperson Heather Newitz saying that the U.S. is deeply troubled by these reports. We are deeply, deeply troubled by those reports of mass graves. And I want to point out that these are in the northern Rakhine state. That is the exact area where we have seen uh, the Rohingya flee their country for neighboring Bangladesh. Uh, we are watching this situation very carefully. As you know, uh, the secretary had not long ago uh, said that the activities taking place in the northern Rakhine state constitute ethnic cleansing. Um, that is something that we stand firmly by.